Today's episode of Overworked History is about Buckminster Fuller and his designs for the future. Richard Buckminster Fuller was born July 12, 1895. His middle name was a family name, and while growing up he debated what to call himself. Eventually he decided on I Buckminster Fuller, but many people called him Bucky. While in school, Fuller disliked the way geometry was taught. He felt models of shapes would be the best way to teach the subject, instead of two-dimensional drawings on chalkboards. Fuller attended Harvard, but was expelled for spending too much money at a vaudeville show. He was later readmitted to Harvard, but he was expelled again due to his lack of interest. During World War I, he served in a variety of different roles in the United States Navy, including serving as commander of the USS Inca. At the end of the war, Fuller began working for the Stockade Building Systems Company, which sold cheap houses that he designed. In 1827, Fuller lost his job, and he decided to change the course of his life. He became dedicated to finding ways to improve humanity. His first major project was the Dymaxion House, which he designed in 1930. Dymaxion was a combination of the words dynamic, maximum, and tension, and Fuller would use the term many times throughout his life. The Dymaxion House was shaped like a yacht. It was designed to be energy efficient and could conserve water. Fuller intended the house to be used in remote parts of the world. In 1932, Fuller designed the Dymaxion car, a three-wheeled car that was fuel efficient at high speeds. The car's most striking feature was its streamlined body. Fuller hoped the design could also be adapted in the future as a flying car. It was exhibited at the 1932 Chicago World's Fair, and attracted the attention of many of America's car companies. On October 27, 1932, a politician's car struck the Dymaxion car outside the fair's entrance. The Dymaxion driver was killed, and the car's passengers were injured. The politician's car was illegally removed from the scene by policemen, so the reporters only saw the wrecked Dymaxion. Because of this, it was widely reported that the car had rolled over by itself. The Dymaxion car's reputation never recovered. One of Fuller's stranger projects was a Dymaxion map, a new way of showing the globe on a flat surface. It debuted in a 1943 edition of Life magazine. Fuller is also credited with popularizing the geodesic dome, a dome made out of triangles. He created the name geodesic in the late 1940s. The dome was used in many modern working buildings throughout the world. One of more notable geodesic domes Fuller built was the Montreal Biosphere, which he built in 1967. Another famous example is Spaceship Earth at Walt Disney World. Spaceship Earth is a term Fuller popularized in the late 1960s. Buckminster Fuller died July 1st, 1983. His long career was spent trying to improve humanity through better buildings, better transportation, and even better ways to picture the world. Thank you.